Hello, this is Mandy, and welcome back to Random Bible Verses and Passages. Um, I just want to thank you for coming back and visiting me today. Uh, must rejoice in the day, for this is the day that the Lord has made. No matter what it turns out to be, what it was like, rejoice in it. Uh, I have got another passage for you today. Um, this is going to be found in Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 13 and this is Lord teach me to pray after this manner therefore pray ye our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen there's a lot in there. I mean, when we pray, Oh, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me for the day. Forgive me when I did this. Lord, help me. Watch me. Pray for me. Pray for this person. Pray for that person. We pray. If we really have something, we like, Oh, Lord, this is our problem. This is what I need. This is what I want. You know. Jesus is instructing us how to pray. Not him, us. We are to acknowledge who we're talking to. It's our Father, he is in heaven. Hallow, glory, glory be his name. His kingdom come, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done as on earth as it is in heaven. What he wants will be done. That's what we should pray. We should pray that whatever you want, Lord, let it be. Because this is your place. Give us our daily, our daily bread. Give us our what we need. Give us, we don't pray for our wants and our desires. God knows what they are. I mean, we, we do don't mean we're going to get it, but our daily bread, bread we need, food, he knows it, just Lord, give us what we need, we need to sustain us, to keep us alive, to, to do your will, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and we can ask for forgiveness, ask for people that has hurt us, that has done us wrong, we can ask for forgiveness for them. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power and the glory forever. Amen. To guide us into the way that we should go. Lead us. Direct our path. Keep us from evil. Keep my eyes, keep my mind straight on you. Sometimes my grandkids sing this song. Be careful, little eyes, what you see. Be careful, little eyes, what you see. The Father of above is looking down with love, so be careful, little eyes, what you see. And they go through all, everything, the eyes, the mouth, the ears, the hands. Lord, become a child. Guide us through it. So we don't see the wrong things and say the wrong words. And we're human. We do. We make mistakes. But we should pray. God's, Jesus has directed us how to pray right here in Matthew when the disciples asked Lord how should we pray and he told them our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the power and the glory forever amen that's it in a nutshell, that's how you pray. Break it down. Tell God, tell God your prayer. And believe. Have faith. Faith of a mustard seed, but have faith. So I hope you like my little videos. Hit that like button if you do. Hit the subscribe button so you can um, see more that I have coming out. Um, leave me a little comment. Did you read? 
this? Do you know what this what this is talking about? Did you read the chapter? Did you read everything about it? A few verses before and a few verses before. Because I was told at one time, when you read a particular verse and you don't understand it, or you want to know more about it, just go two verses ahead and two verses below. I mean, it's you can do more than that, reading the whole chapter to find out everything. Read as much as you need to read to find out what you're reading and what it means. Um, and get your Bible out, dust it out, and remember if you don't have one, go well, buy one. You don't have to spend a lot of money. I showed you some Bibles from Dollar Tree the other day, the other the other video that I did. One dollar. So you don't have to spend a lot. But I, I do I do pray that you go get a Bible. That you read your Bible. That you study your Bible. And I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And I will be talking at you next time, and God bless.